You said you are going to vote for her when asked right. uh, on Morning Joe on Friday. What about endorsing her? Do you see a distinction between voting for her and endorsing her, or are they one and the same? No, they're not one and the same. Uh, what I am trying to do now in a variety of ways is to see that we have a democratic platform that represents working families, that is prepared to take on the fossil fuel industry uh, and Wall Street. And by the way, in the democratic platform uh, passed in St. Louis, very strong language about breaking up the major banks on Wall Street, passing a Glass-Steagall legislation, uh, uh, expanding Social Security. These are ideas that I have fought for for years and in the campaign. So I think we're making some progress, but there is some language that is still lacking. For example, in uh, the bill, in the platform that came out of uh, St. Louis, uh, we did not make it clear that we are opposed to the TPP getting onto the floor, the Trans-Pacific Partnership getting onto the floor of Congress and seeing it defeated. And I was really quite surprised to see that Secretary Clinton's uh, delegates uh, rejected our proposal to kill the TPP, despite the fact that she has indicated she does not want to see it get onto the floor. So those are some of the issues uh, that have got to be worked on. That said, the platform is a huge issue, and I know you want your revo revolution to continue, and uh, you're working very hard to elect uh, like-minded uh, Democrats and others right. who will carry on your policies. But I don't understand, or a lot of people don't understand, I should say, your reluctance to endorse if well, you want I, I to think defeat many Donald people, Trump. What are your other choices? I would respectfully disagree and suggest that many people do understand. Uh, our job is to transform America, to end the 40-year decline of the American middle class. That is what I am fighting to do. Uh, and we are in that process right now. Uh, we did very well, I thought, in St. Louis in terms of the first meeting of the platform committee. Now we go to Orlando and then we go to the floor of the Democratic Convention. Politics is not a baseball game with winners and losers. What politics is about is whether we protect the needs of millions of people in this country who are hurting. That is my focus. And my job right now is to make the Democratic Party as open, as inclusive, as progressive as it possibly can be. And that's what we're working on as we speak. Uh, in our polling today, in our NBC News survey, Monkey <clears throat> Online poll, there's an eight-point spread. Hillary Clinton is leading Donald Trump, but single digits, and not a big, uh, not a big wave behind her. Also, in our NBC News Wall Street Journal poll, so this is this could be a very close race. Uh, right. How long are you going to wait before you make well, a decision about endorsement? It, Will you decide before I the think convention? The, you're asking, I think, in all due respect, Andrea, the wrong question. It's not a question of my endorsement. It's a question of the American people understanding that Secretary Clinton is prepared to stand with them as they work longer hours for low wages, as they cannot afford health care, as their kids can't afford to go to college. Make it clear that she is on their side, that she is prepared to take on Wall Street, the drug companies, fossil fuel industry, deal with the global crisis of climate change. I have no doubt that if Secretary Clinton makes that position, those positions clear, uh, she will defeat Trump and defeat him by a very uh, wide margin. Why do you think Elizabeth